Hey everyone, so I have not used this log splitter yet. This is my replacement I got from Harbor Freight. So yes, definitely was a good idea that I bought their warranty. So the reason I went with a cheap one this year is because this year I've bought a lot of other machinery. And I didn't want to spend any more money this year. But eventually when I get a car that can actually pull a trailer, my current vehicle cannot pull a trailer, but... Eventually, I'll probably get a much bigger log splitter, maybe one of the gasoline ones, or preferably, I wish I could get a gigantic electric one, like something that has a 30-amp plug, like a clothes dryer. To my knowledge, I'm not sure if that exists or not yet. I wish I could have one like that. Maybe I'll just get a really good electric one, because I like having it here in the garage without fumes and without the massive ruckus of an engine. So anyways, the first one I returned because it started leaking hydraulic fluid out of the cylinder right here. That gasket blew, and I'm just splitting softwoods. Can't imagine what that would have done if I had hardwoods. But anyways, I returned it. I have the two-year warranty, which means I can return this thing 20 times a year if I want. So the second one right here, have not used it, but I modified it, as I said, because originally I'd have one hand here and another hand hood pushing this button for it to work. Two-hand system, it's a safety system, so you don't accidentally crush your hand in it. Well, I don't think I'm stupid enough to crush my hand in it, and I also thought this was kind of dangerous because my face is pretty close to a log, and sometimes they explode when they split. So... What a guy in another YouTube video showed me, I did it. Drilled two holes with a nail going through, and it's holding the button in. Works. Now, the second one, I'm guessing these machines just have a quality control issue. When the warranty goes out on this, I don't know how many times by then I'll have to replace it, but I will get a gasoline one or a much more expensive electric one that I can just keep in the garage here, which I prefer. I prefer to do that, especially when I'm splitting wood when it's cold. But I got a foot pedal here so I can stand behind it and I'm out of harm's way. The one thing I don't like about this new machine and the old machine didn't do that. The old machine, when you hit the button, it started immediately. And no, it's not the foot pedal. It did it with just the button. Listen to this lag in the motor before it starts. Maybe I did just didn't remember. Maybe it has to break itself in, but see how it kind of starts slow? And it's not because it's really cold out. I was using the other one one time when it was like 10 outside, but we'll give it a shot. See that? There we go. Now, this machine does not reverse unless it's off. We'll see how it goes. I will do a review on this probably in like six months. I still want more time to do a proper review on it. The store told me they've never had anyone return one, so maybe it was just a fluke thing. Who knows? If, if I break another one, then I will give it a negative review in a video. If this thing lasts me another six months, then I'll give it a positive review. I still need some more time with it. But I just wanted to show how I modified it. Got that from someone else. That was their idea. Is that a spider? I wonder if he's... Is he alive? He might be alive. A lot of times spiders just go into like a suspended state when it's cold. So I'm going to put that guy on, like on a shelf in here so he can walk away on a cold day if he is still alive. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.